Cameras were not allowed inside the Gustavus Lightburn Sports Complex on Saturday night as consultative forum member Karen DeLancey and electoral reform advisor Kate Sullivan gave residents a chance to hear their opinion and suggestions on what changes, if any, should be made to the current Turks and Caicos Islands Constitution. The meeting was poorly attended with less than 20 residents present and an even smaller number wished to speak about what went on in the meeting. No, 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 no. Can we get a quick comment? Just tell us what happened in the meeting. Um, no, no comments at this stage. Not really. No. Do you think it was even profitable at all? Do you think anything is going to come out of this meeting? Um, no, no comment. Uh, uh, we, I, I wouldn't comment about it. Um, we're dealing with it from a different perspective. One attendee did, however, share his thoughts about the meeting. Persons, they would want to retain the constitution that was, uh, you know, um, scrapped, so to speak, or suspended. But on the other hand, they are making suggestions to uh, Ms. Sullivan as to what they would like to see, uh, you know, added or, or, or um, deleted from the, con from the, whatever the new constitution looks like. And, um, you know, the two, it, it doesn't um, weigh out because if you say you, you want the constitution you had, then, you know, you shouldn't be arguing to put other stuff in it. And um, this is where there seems to be a, a, a conflict in, in, in what is actually being said. Electoral advisor Kate Sullivan was responsible for noting suggestions and concerns made by residents during the meeting. In a written release to residents, Sullivan said, quote, I have been appointed to undertake a review of the TCI's constitutional and electoral arrangements. I will be providing advice to the governor and the FCO on any required changes to the 2006 constitution following the findings of the recent commission of inquiry. I am committed to full consultation with individuals and stakeholder groups in the TCI throughout this project." End quote. The electoral and constitutional reform project will go through several stages. By the end of July 2010, written proposals for reform will be published. A further period of consultation, including public meetings, will give all interested individuals and organizations an opportunity to comment on these proposals. A draft constitutional order will then be produced and published. This will be followed by a third period of consultation, including public meetings, to collect views on the draft constitution. The aim is to have the constitution finalized by January 2010 to allow for elections as scheduled in mid-2011. During this process, persons and individuals or groups may submit written submissions to the project by writing to Kate Sullivan, P.O. Box 68, Grand Turk, or email tciconstitution at hotmail.com. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.